Hello, coming to you from St. Martin de Porres. Today I would like to meditate with you on an important theme that I've noticed that has run through the past two Sunday Gospel readings. This past Sunday we had the Gospel of the Greatest Commandment, love of God and love of neighbor. And two Sundays ago we had the famous Gospel passage of give to Caesar the things that belong to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. I believe that there's a message here that is important for us as a nation as we prepare for our national election next Tuesday. The message is this, that it is an act of civic duty, but also of charity to participate in the process of government. As we know, no one can exercise authority over another human being without the consent of that person. Anything else is slavery. So as such, we live in a just society in the sense that we formally allow the people to make decisions for themselves or to elect others to make these decisions for themselves. In other words, these political choices are never imposed upon them. We are not slaves, rather we make a free decision to allow someone to exercise authority on our behalf through elections. Well, although it is our civic duty to participate in this process, particularly by voting, I want to propose to you that it is an act of charity to do so as well. And how can I say that? Well, to begin, when we look at the commandment, love your neighbor as yourself, we might notice that Jesus places us on the same level as love of God. And the reason for that is to love the image of God, that is to say your neighbor, is to give honor to the God who made them. Or to dishonor the image of God means to dishonor the one in whose image they were made. And that is why love of God and love of neighbor are not distinguished by Jesus. They are said in the same breath, if you will. So if we think of this, and we are mindful of how we live in a society where we're seeking the well-being of other people, well, our social decisions have to be in tune, in harmony with honoring the image of God that is literally right next to us and the image of God we don't know. In other words, those people we do not know of but live in the same society as us we need to make responsible decisions whereby we can honor the divine image in all. And in doing so, we see the link between love of neighbor and fulfilling one's civic, civic duty. Because on the one hand, it is a matter of justice. You have to render to another what is their due. It is a matter of justice to participate in the civic process. It is your duty. And on the other hand, the way you express that duty can either be an act of charity or an act of negligence. And so as we draw near to our election, I want us to envision our participation in the civic process as something that can be an act of charity. It can be a way in which we are concretely seeking the well-being of our fellow neighbor. And in doing so, we are honoring the image of God in them. And so when you vote, and I'll delve more into the theme of voting in a, in a future podcast. But when we vote, let us see that not just as an act of justice, 
as fulfilling a civic obligation. But insofar as our decisions at the ballot box have an impact on those around us, because those whom we elect will make those decisions, right? We have to be mindful that the way we express our views in the public square and also through our votes, our, our choices have to be oriented towards charity, towards loving our neighbor as ourself, towards seeking the kind of society for them that we seek for ourselves. See that? To love your neighbor as yourself in this context means to seek the same kind of society for them as you would for yourself. And therein lies charity. So may we be the image of divine love to others. And even though it will happen in secret because we vote in private, nevertheless, our Father who sees in secret will repay us, as Jesus says. So although this act of charity, whatever is in your heart and whatever you bring to the ballot box, although we please God, hope that all will express charity towards their fellow men and women, we have to be mindful that this is a sacred responsibility, a sacred trust, in which we love our neighbor as ourself, and that is charity. And then also, we give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. We render to society what is its due, and that is an act of justice. So I hope this has been a, a meaningful meditation. I hope it is uh, a way in which I can lay the groundwork for another podcast about voting in this election. But just hold those two things in mind. Rendering to Caesar, that's say fulfilling your civic duty of voting, that is an act of justice. And then honoring the image of God, loving your neighbor, that's say giving to God what belongs to God, that is an act of charity. And that can be expressed even through our vote. And indeed, it must be expressed since we are Christians, other Christs in this world. So may you be blessed this day. And may this meditation be a nourishing one for all. Peace.